first of all, hi, and thank you so much for have, making the time to do this interview so early in the morning. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. It's pretty hot in here, but otherwise I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, it's also very hot in here. Um, yeah, I heard that Finland right now is also having this kind of a heat wave. I hope you're not melting over there or something. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll do just fine. <laughs> So, for those people who haven't heard yet about Balance Bridge, could you briefly introduce your band? Well, we are a pretty young Finnish metalcore band. We've been together something like five years now. And uh, next month we will release our debut album to Out of Line Music. And uh, yeah, our music is pretty melodic, metalcore. And some of people like to call it also modern metal, but I think that the metalcore defines it better. So you mentioned that you guys have been around for five years and now you're releasing your debut album. Uh, was there any reason waiting five years? Did you want to like perfect the sound before you had your first album or? Yeah, I think we had to wait for the right time to to find that time and place when we are good enough as a band to release a full length, full length album because you can do debut album only once and we want, wanted it to be really good and wanted, wanted it to sound like us. I interviewed you once after winning the Tuska Dorstai competition. Um, we of course had, didn't have the possibility about talking about your show because it was before. So how was that experience for you performing at such a prestigious festival? Well, first of all, it was really big thing for us and really important experience. Something like something that maybe all of us have waited for all their lives. The gig was probably the best gig we've ever had and and I it's I think it's like exactly a year now, so I've been thinking about the whole gig past few days and and we're re really waiting to get back on those big festival stages and events like that. Do you feel like that experience has changed you a little bit as a band? Because soon after you also got signed with Out of Line Music for your debut. Um, so I'm wondering, did that play any part in it, having performed at Tuska or was it just because of your music? Well. Uh, I think, of course, it had it, it has affected to the fact that we got signed pretty soon after that. But uh, I think it's it's just the thing that when you're win winning a competition like that, when there's maybe the best best Finnish unsigned metal bands, it tells tells something about the band. You you got to have something there if you want competition like that so maybe maybe it affected also to the fact that we got signed and otherwise after after we won that competition and played at Tuska we of course we've been even more hungry after that and really waiting to get back on those stages like I said so what is the story behind you getting signed with out of line did you reach out to them and did you have other options and why did you eventually chose out of line as a label well there was a lot of coincidence also with that thing uh accidentally i met met the boss of the label at tuska after slayers gig and we had this conversation about metal nowadays and modern metal and uh, at some point uh, i started to talk about our band and about that thing that we played the day before at Tuska. Uh, and then we find out that the guy knew our band. And uh, then uh, he asked me to send send some demos after the Tuska when I told that we are making the full length debut album. And uh, after that, when time gone by, I sent more demos and at some point we were talking about signing and negotiating about the record deal 
we didn't have really really other labels that we we were like considering seriously uh, of course there's there's other Finnish bands also on the out of line so we got that opportunity to ask about the, from those bands that how is it like to be as an artist on that label so at that point it just felt like a right thing to do to sign with out of line so let's talk now a little bit more about your debut album. Um, first, what struck me in the album is actually the diversity of the songs. Um, all the songs are very different, but of course you have a clear sound and it's very consistent. But how do you guys usually go about songwriting? Is it like a collective effort or? Yeah, all of us takes part to the writing process. Usually our guitarist there who has a uh, riff or two or some kind of melody that we start to work together and start to build a song uh, yeah that's how it's done we all all take a part to the process and i think it's it's also one of our strengths i remember in the previous interview, you also mentioned something about that you still needed to finish up the debut album and that there would be some kind of a writing camp or something like that. Yeah. Is that something you guys do together? When yeah. You write? We go to our drummer auntie's family's cottage together and we spend a couple of days or a few days there and just, just focus on the writing and creating new music. It's really a thing that works for us because it's a place place where there aren't re really anything distra distracting things so it's, it's easy to focus on the writing and creating new music. Do you feel it also has some kind of an effect on the music itself or do you think that you could just write at any place basically? Well I think that it's the thing that affects to the music is that it's just that we all are taking a part and and really in, in those few days that we're spent together we are so in that thing without any distractions and I think that makes the songs better as songs. What sort of lyrical themes are present in the album and is there one like theme that is kind of overarching the whole album or no I won't say that there's any grand master idea behind the lyrics that that uh, would be in every every song's lyrics uh, the themes are something I have I have experienced and something that I I feel like I have something 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 to say about and but uh, yeah, there's a lot of changes what the subject will be in. Why did you end up picking Dead End Diaries as a title track? Do you feel like it is the song that represents your identity as a band the best? Well, that's, that's a tough question. I think there's also some coincidence behind that. It just felt like a good name for an album but but it's also true that i think it's there in that song there's many elements that you can hear also in the other songs so, so i think it's it's pretty good as a title track and you also work together with rami nukanen as a, a producer and uh, i actually know some other project he's involved in it's a, an alternative rock band and in my opinion, he's he's quite good at those modern elements and producing, you know, in the music. But is that the reason you chose him as a producer? And what was the collaboration like? I think the main reason why we choose him is that he's a really good friend of ours. And we've been working with Rami uh, with also our three previous singles. We've been released through the years. So... Uh, we've been saying that Rami has like become part of, part of this whole thing and he's really our good friend and like a safe person to uh, to take with us to this whole new situation of 
writing and doing the full-length album and, and working with 10 songs at the same time. So, yeah, he's, he's really, really close to us and just felt the right person for the job. The Finnish metal scene is also filled with, you know, bands that have these melancholic melodies, you know, the style yeah. of music. So I feel that like your band is kind of a breath of fresh air in the Finnish scene. How do you see it yourself? What do you think you bring to the table, to the metal scene? Well, I think it's our way of making music and uh, without any pre-exceptations. And, uh, yeah, the fresh sound is also something I think that we can we can bring to this metal scene in Finland. Uh, maybe there's just some new new way of or new point of views how we reach reach this new whole metal scene and bring bring our our sound to the scene. What I also really appreciated in this like release cycle is that you guys had some pretty high quality and very creative music videos. Uh, and a lot of starting bands, they don't maybe put as much attention to the visual side of things. Is that really important for you guys? Yeah, I think it's also important thing because those are the things you saw even before you create your opinion of the music. So of course it's important, especially when you're doing this first outcome like we are doing. So it's it's really important thing for us. And also some of us are really big fans of music videos and we've been watching tons of music videos during the year. So of course when, you, when we are at this point, to, we have this opportunity to make own music videos so we want to put a lot of effort on those videos. How do you usually come about the video? Do you first sketch an ID together or do you let the person you hired for doing the video do that? Well, with this first music video we released from this debut album, the song called Most of This, the director Jonas Kärjänen has also written the story storyline storyline in this video but uh, we also did some writing together with Jonas so band also was taking part to that writing that video but with this latest video November the story behind it uh, it's it's something that the members of the band have written together and we have this same same director, Jonas Gärjän, and also with November video, but the story is written by the band. I remember that in one of the videos you asked fans to participate. Is it important for you to have this kind of connection with the fans that, you know, they sometimes get something back? Yeah, totally. We we are really grateful to all the people that have been around us through all these years and been supporting us since day one so so it was really great experience to have all those people especially from our hometown Mikkeli and and to take part to the video so it was really really important experience for us do you have some other fun stories maybe from recording those videos that you want to share well well something that comes to my mind first is that uh, we had a really good luck with this November music video. It's filmed at the halfway of May and, and the weather was just perfect for the video. There was something like plus three Celsius degrees and it rained the whole weekend. So it, it was so, like something we, we had offered <laughs> I think the video would look very different if, if the weather would be something like it's now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it was quite an except, exceptional weather for the halfway of May.
Yeah, I mean, it's been weird in Finland for like the whole year, I think, because there was no winter, so and now there's a heat wave basically. <laughs> yeah, first it was six months of November, and now it's now it's just heat. Um, so obviously what's also been a bit strange this year is I guess the lack of concerts. Did you guys have a full schedule plan? Did you have to cancel a lot of shows? Uh, there was, wasn't really a lot of actual gigs that we had to cancel, but we had some really great, great plans coming up, but nothing really confirmed. So we didn't have to cancel that much kicks but but yeah all the plans we had to forget forgot all the plans for a while now so what kind of an effect does this whole pandemic situation what kind of effect did it have on you guys as a band especially when you're just starting out it's not a very ideal situation i believe yeah well first of all we couldn't see each others for a couple of months and there were still some recordings to to do with the guitars, so it made made that process a bit difficult. Uh, after that, we've been luckily pretty pretty busy with this album releasing stuff. So yeah, what else? Yeah, I think that's that's about it, really. <laughs> so I remember I. Uh... The first time I saw you live was in 2017 at Emergenza, and I remember that I was impressed by your energy. You especially are just jumping around and, and stuff like yeah. that, attacking the stage. Uh, but what can people in general expect from a show of yours in the future, if they're allowed again? Well, like you said, there's guarantee that there will be a lot of, lot of good energy at our gig. And... Uh, and we've been all, all also saying that our gigs isn't about us looking as cool or rock stars as possible. It's like really something that we want to feel together with the audience and like this experience of everyone that is at the same place at the same time. A lot of bands, they're coming up with alternatives to performing like the live streams. And I think that there are also like drive-in shows with cars. What do you think about those alternatives? And is that something that Balance Breach is interested in doing as well? Well, I think things like streaming gigs or or anything like that isn't, isn't really a thing for us. It's, it's like totally against all I just said, <laughs> what people should expect from our gigs. And I think any one of us in the band isn't that big fans of watching watching a stream gigs. So I think we'll just wait wait for the day that we're back back on the real stage with, with the live audience. What is the plan for you guys? now that you have this debut album and when are you planning to start touring like extensively whenever it's allowed again and also abroad yeah yeah totally we are just waiting wait, waiting for that op opportunity to go to abroad and also we have a lot of work to do here in Finland we are still really small band here in Finland also and we got a lot, lot of work to do we are just hoping that we'll get get to the bigger events also in Finland to reach reach the right people to that could like our music. All right, I think I went through most of my questions. Uh, okay. So thank you so much for doing this, and it was fun That's to perfect. hear more about your debut album. Do you have any last thoughts you want to share with people watching this video and your fans? Well, oh. All the people who's watching this take a listen on our debut album Dead End Diaries. We are Balance Breach from Mikkeli, Finland, and if you haven't heard about about us yet, you will hear. You will hear. <laughs> Have a okay. great summer. <laughs>